You're watching the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. For match previews, match day vlogs, match reactions and more, make sure to subscribe to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel. Hello and welcome back to the Baggies Podcast YouTube channel where of course we're giving you all the latest news, views and opinions on all things Albion. We're back again today with another match day vlog coming to you from West Bromwich Albion versus Bournemouth which kicks off uh, on this when fine Wednesday evening. It's, it's quite bright to be fair, uh, of course it's the first game we've had since uh, the clocks went forward so yeah hoping to not have to trek back in the dark but still a big game for Albion after a really really awful performance against Birmingham City last time out of course this is a chance to improve, a chance where I think the pressure once again is off, I think we're all pretty resigned to the fact we're not getting playoffs this season so yeah looking forward to seeing what we kind of churn out I think you know of course the performance against Fulham has given us a lot of hope to, to move forward so we'll see what happens uh, we'll see how they get on but yeah I'm expecting a couple of changes uh, for the, to the lineup for this one but yeah before we get into this vlog we're uh, we get some of the atmosphere from the game um, uh, and of course, I'm trying to film any goals if, if Albion tends to score any, but we'll certainly see about that. Make sure you subscribe, comment your thoughts on the game below, because of course you've already seen it uh, by the time I'm recording this. So yeah, let's crack on, let's get on with this match day vlog. Uh, yeah, West Bromwich Albion versus Bournemouth.
Wow, another great performance at the Hawthorns from Albion. Um, 
Yeah, I had a little feeling that this this sort of performance might come out. Of course, the pressure's off once again. They're playing a better team than themselves, a, a team that have proved themselves time and time again uh, this season. And I was just, yeah, baffled again just by the... It's, this squad is just so bizarre. You know, the way that they just crumble when the pressure's on. But when, you know, it feels like there's a bit of a weight lifted off their shoulders, they go in and put a performance like this in. I think this is where Steve Bruce has got to use his kind of man management, his... Uh, everything that he has to say, um, everything that he says has to be spot on with those players because if he says that there's a bit of pressure on them, then he's, he's guaranteed to get another crumbling performance just like they did after the Fulham game at Bristol City and, and Birmingham City. But yeah, I was just really pleased with the application yet again. Uh, of course, getting the early goals really did help with the confidence and uh, and inspired them to, to keep going and putting the performance needed. But yeah, if I look at individually Andy Carroll what a what a performance from him he has to have an, a contract next season he really does uh, and he has to be at the club I think I, I do think you need to do that as quickly as possible because I do worry that maybe another championship club might come sniffing for him but he has done a fantastic job um, and, and tonight just showed every ounce of application battle fight just everything you want in a striker everything you want in a in a player such as him and I think it's actually a little bit embarrassing for for Carl and Grant and Callum Robinson uh, after their performances and perhaps a little bit of their attitudes on um on Sunday to see Andy Carroll come into the side and, and put in such a performance and he's a real battle and a grafter uh, and he doesn't mind taking those knocks and of course got his goal tonight which I think without that I think I would have probably still said he had such a good game but of course the goal added to it it's a really nice bit of footwork from him got the ball under control uh, sent the defender one way and, and put the ball the other so yeah wonderful from Andy Carroll and yeah just a really pleasing display I thought the defence were very solid again Bournemouth did have a couple of chances uh, of course Domin Dominic Solanke having one um, just brushed it slightly wide of the post and then there was another one I think from Jamura, Jamura who came in at the back post and I think he blazed it well over. But yeah, ultimately Albion have have excelled once again under pressure uh, out of out of these under pressure situations and yeah, it just begs the question as to where uh, where where things are going really with 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 this current crop of players because they keep producing performances like this when we least expect them to and yeah, just wish things could be a bit more consistent. And as I said, it's just a frustrating feeling more than anything to to watch this side in these sorts of performances, but yeah, we're hoping for for more like this, and and on Saturday against Stoke City, but I I can't see it coming. I think that they'll they'll fold again. But that's just me at the moment, and that's just the way I'm feeling about the situation at the club. But ultimately, the performance was fantastic to a man. Everybody uh, dug in. I don't think it had to be as good as the Fulham performance. I don't think Bournemouth were particularly good tonight at all. But I do think that it, it was just great to see some application from each and every one of the players, and great to see another three points and. Another couple of special moments at the Hawthorns. Uh, yeah, and another great Andy Carroll performance. But that's the end of this matchday vlog. Drop your comments and your thoughts on the game below. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>